Um, my question is, um, with we use Facebook a lot, um, we use Twitter a lot, but with the way Facebook has been changing lately, like it's really hard to get your pages noticed and um, they just keep changing their format. Like every two, two days you hear people saying, well, what, I can't see my friends posts anymore. What's going on Facebook? So is, is there a better platform we should be using? Is Twitter sort of the new way to go? Is it the best way to go for social media? Um, or should we be looking to Snapchat and Vine and Pinterest or doing all of them in equal measure? I think this doesn't entirely answer your question, but it is an important consideration when you're saying, you know, we use, we do Facebook, we do Twitter, you know, where should we be? Um, part of the answer is that you always need to have a balance between channels you have control over and channels, quite frankly, that you don't because Facebook can change their algorithm whenever they want. You don't own that Facebook page. Um, so, so always keeping that in mind when you start using these new channels, you might have a great opportunity to start Snapchatting with your community, depending on who they are. Um, but that Snapchat, the goal for the communication that you're doing there, um, always needs to tie back to, to a platform that you actually own. Um, the conversation um, always needs to tie back to, to a website or, you know, something else that, that you actually do own. So that's a half answer, but it's a start. And I'll maybe be a little contrarian since Adam encouraged it. So I, I, do, I do think it's good to have things link back where you can to properties that you own. But going back to this kind of mantra I have about the selfie, if, if you said, Anthony, I have very limited time and resources to engage. Uh, I'm trying to get word of mouth out to more donors, uh, more people to learn about what we're doing. What's the best thing I can do? I would say if you're using your own Facebook page, the best thing you could do is post something that you know another group or person will share to their own timeline, which may mean picking up the phone and calling them and saying, hey, we did this partnership event and I'm gonna post this thing and I want you to share it. But the other thing you could do even if you don't have your own page is how can you get someone to share something that has your brand? You know, when you go to a fancy event here in, in DC, Adam goes to them all the time, all of those, you know, galas and stuff. They have those step and repeats in the background, a wall with logos, so that when you're dressed up in a tux and you get your picture, their brand is in your picture. It's kind of a, an agreement that we want to be in front of it and at the same time. Well, how can you get them to take their picture at your event with something that might have that hashtag so that when they share it, they'll maybe include that and their friends will see it rather than just being there? So that's the number one thing I think you can do. And you don't have to post anything necessarily. What you want is them to post something that does tie back to you. And it may be tying back through a link to your website. It may be having your logo on it. Um, that's where you're going to get the, really, the word of mouth more than trying to build your own little community.